Today we have an awesome program planned. We're going to show you what the city is doing for future generations, our teens. Oh, oh, oh. We almost got him. <laughs> the city of Chandler wants to make a difference in the lives of its youth, which is why they have such a big focus on teen programs. Chandler Teen Programs offers some fun opportunities such as hip-hop dance, different sports clinics such as basketball, volleyball, wrestling, if they're looking for that extra edge, you know, in order to get on a team at high school or, you know, just to have fun. Tumbleweed Recreation Center has some awesome team programs with their new team rooms. We have a lot of team recreation classes. Three big events focused on teens are the Leaders and Training Program, which is a summer program, so it happens in June and July the Chandler Unitown Camp, which happens beginning to mid-October, and then our large teen talent competition, which usually is in January or February. The Leaders in Training program targets teens 14 to 16 years of age, wanting to get that extra step into the career world, preparing them for their first job. They're placed throughout the city, whether it's recreation or accounting or the fire department, police department, and they shadow adult mentors, and they learn what it takes to do different types of jobs, and so it, it's something they can use when they turn 16. They can put it on an application and say, hey, I did this program. I, I worked for 80 hours over the summer learning not just what it takes to be a fireman, but showing up on time and being appropriately dressed and professionally speaking. Unitown is the ultimate leadership and diversity camp. The five-day residential camp in Prescott hosts teens 14 18 that attend Chandler schools. If you want to make new friends, learn how to break down barriers, and improve your leadership skills, this camp is definitely for you. We spend five days talking about a lot of the issues that affect teens on the daily basis. We touch on topics such as violence, stereotyping, cliques, family issues, identifying yourself, bullying. So we touch on a lot of these issues through large programs and small discussion groups. Another part of the camp is for students to learn more about each other's cultures. So at camp we have culture groups and we break the delegation into the culture group that they identify with. And throughout the five days they work on a presentation to present to the entire camp. And basically what they're doing is presenting their culture to everyone, sharing their foods, their traditions, their languages, and the things that make up their culture. One of the most uplifting things that I get from this camp is watching each student walk on as an individual, kind of staying in their own social groups or their own little cliques. And then as the duration of the camp progresses, they start to build this small community. And it is just amazing to see that process. And it's even more uplifting because I have the luxury of working for Chandler and working for the teens, and I get to see the change from the person that they were when they came to camp, and then the person that they have become after they leave the camp, and the leader that they become when they're back in their schools and their communities, and just to see that change. So it is definitely a great luxury to be a part of this camp. And the relationship doesn't stop there. We want to keep that progress growing as they continue to develop their leadership skills. We want to give them opportunities, so we encourage them to participate in our team programs. We encourage them to take advantage of the programs that they have at their schools. And we also have a reunion about six to eight months after camp where we get together at one of the Chandler parks. and. We kind of talk about how things have been coming back to the real world and how, how things are different and how they see things differently since being at camp. It's always cool getting to know other teens from other schools. Another great event that occurs at the beginning of every year is the Teen Talent Show, where teens across the valley audition their talent to showcase in the Teen Talent Show. The Teen Talent Show is open for teens from 12 to 19 years old. Any talent they have, they can uh, come in and audition for it. They do have to audition because uh, we do receive large numbers of participants that want to come and show their talents off. There's a great array of talent. We have singing and dancing and you know pretty much any talent that you can think of. It's a great place for the kids to come and, and showcase uh, 
really what they've been working on throughout the year and what they love to do. The best way to find out about it is through our website at chandleraz.gov slash teens. And there we have all the information that participants and future talent show participants need to, to get started. Much of what teens do in school is to get them ready for their future, whether it be continuing on to college or a university, trade school, or seeking professional work. The Mayor's Youth Commission is an awesome way to get that extra step, also looks great on a resume. The Chandler Mayor's Youth Commission is an advisory group to the Chandler Mayor and Council. Their main objectives are to provide service to the community, develop their personal leadership skills, and most importantly, give a voice to the youth of Chandler. The Chandler Mayor's Youth Commission is made up of 25 students currently. They are high school students that live in Chandler. We meet once a month at the Tumbleweed Recreation Center and at our meetings we talk about different issues that are affecting the youth, things that we could do to help, um, volunteer opportunities, leadership opportunities, and anything else the teens would like to discuss. The Mayor's Youth Commission does about one volunteer project every month. We try to reach out to different organizations within the City of Chandler. Some of the fundraising opportunities we've had in the past year are uh, partnering with Dilly's Deli uh, and some of the other restaurants in the area, as well as the Day of Play, um, partnering with ASU for a football game. The money that they raise goes directly to activities that they host or sponsor. We've done things where you know they've purchased backpacks for back to school. We try to do Adopt a Family every Christmas, as well as our Teen Town Hall in the spring, and occasionally we do assist with some other programs they fundraise to help the community. To be a Mayor's Youth Commission member, you just need to fill out our application and it's online at chandleraz.gov slash teens at the bottom of the page. You print out the application, it's two pages, and submit it with a letter of recommendation from anybody that you know in the community, a teacher, a member of your church, or someone else that you've done volunteer work. And then you're invited to attend a few of our meetings so you can see what the commission is about and we can also get to know you as well. And once you attend three meetings, we then uh, recommend your name for appointment by mayor and council, and then you become an official member of our commission. Once you become a member, you get to uh, have voting power, so you can vote on different issues that we have, whether or not it's how we spend our money or what we're going to volunteer to do within the community. And you also get to interact occasionally with mayor and council at different events, attend leadership opportunities that we have. We do our Governor's Leadership Day. We attend that every year and also the League of Cities. We try to attend every year as well. So you do get more opportunities once you become a official member. The Mayor's Youth Commission is a great opportunity to develop leadership skills within your peers and also within the community. Uh, you get to present at our Parks and Recreation Board. They have presented at Mayor and Council meetings in the past. They also gives them the opportunity to make those decisions and learn how a border commission or even city council works as far as voting appropriately, quorum, um, just different government legislative skills. So it's really great especially for those who are interested in politics and then also those who are just interested in volunteering and being part of their community. We'll be right back after this fun fact. The City of Chandler not only provides programs when teens are out of school, but also while they're in school. The City has extended its programs to local junior high schools. Our programs at the satellite sites are kind of broken into three parts. During the lunch program, they provide daily activities from sports to wacky contests to crafts. It just gives a chance for the students during the middle of the school day to get to know the staff. We come here at about 11.15, we start setting up. We offer different activities throughout the day. We have um, foosball tournaments, ping pong tournaments. Uh, pretty much our responsibility here is to keep the kids busy during their lunchtime. 